Welcome to Eddie's Football Waffle. Yeah. Guys, welcome. Uh, if you're a football purist, I think you're gonna like the video, so hit the like, subscribe. Okay. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Alright. And if after the video you don't like it, you can just you can do the opposite. But anyway, as a football purist, that that was my mindset going into this game, even though I'm a Man United fan. I'm a football purist as well. Going into watching that game, I was excited because it is a title decider and we know, everyone knows, you, you could be a tribal fan for any team, everyone knows Man City and Liverpool play the best football and it was likely to be a great game and it was, didn't disappoint for me. The, the game was high octane, fast and furious. The likes of Vin Diesel would be would, would be so happy with that game. He would want to sign up for either team if he could play <laughs> if he could play ball. He would he would be signing for either team. Both teams fit as fiddles. This wasn't a game about individual talent. This was not that. This this was two teams drilled by the likes of Klopp and Pep fighting out a, another great two-two draw. Both teams on point for me. Yes, Man City in the first half they were. They were edging it in terms of their chances, but Liverpool, with their counter press, they did well as the away team. The away team is always likely to have less of the ball, less of the chances, less of that kind of control. They did well to counter press. I saw Henderson as the captain. This is what teams should follow. Your captain leads the counter press every time the press was triggered. Henderson was going forward, even going in front of his forwards and that therefore making the rest of the midfield push up and making Man City think twice about playing certain balls but yeah we saw Man City they were using their wings well the way they stretched uh, Liverpool's back four at times doing, doing nice diagonals to the right wing or left wing for me Trent was getting a bit exposed and Matip for me is a great defender the way, the way Matip covers for Trent it, it is great it is just such fitness in both teams now, Man City, I, I, I think they got a little bit, I mean, they, yeah, they did get lucky with that first goal. I mean, that deflection, you hit that kind of shot another nine times out of ten, that shot's not going in. It was a perfect deflection. You lucky bastard. But Liverpool came back. They were doing certain things where we know they have that Gagan press and the way they're fullbacks get into the half spaces on the halfway line and they try those crosses in had Man City thinking twice about pushing up they had to run in behind and defend and that's what really led to that uh, Liverpool equaliser was Robertson getting into that that left channel just in front of the halfway line getting in a nice cross right to was it was Trent and that's where you see where the gamble of Trent going forward does pay off sometimes even though it does expose their defence when it works Trent with that nice assist for, for Jota who's just there you know a little bit was a little bit quiet before that and then just gets a nice finish Bernardo Robertson para pegarle al arco no centro de Robertson pasado para Alexander Arnold se dejó a Diego Jota that's why you have finishes like uh, Jota on there but then after that goal we saw Man City they came back into controlling the game and you know, as I said, they were just, they were really stretching Liverpool's defence and the second goal that came in, well deserved. Well deserved goal from Gabriel Jesus getting in on Trent who can be exposed sometimes. What a great cross and what a great finish. There were so many chances that I'm actually forgetting what kind of main chances there were. Man City did edge the, the, the first half. They edged it. it was, it was great play as a neutral. I, I was in shock and awe. Calm, calm down, dear. Calm down. Calm down. So, I mean, that, that's. I shouldn't be getting that excited over watching football, but because I've been watching Man United play absolute dross for 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 many parts of the season, that was a meal that that I consumed like I was starving. And I'm sure there's there's fans that will say this. That have been watching Man United. When you watch that football, you're thinking, damn that damn. 
Damn! 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 That is next level. That was next level. Second half. I thought Liverpool had to come out and had to really keep pressing, and that's what they did. I, I, I thought second half, Liverpool, they had the dictation of what was going to happen because they won that half 1-0. They, they looked dangerous. And for anyone that thought there was going to be any pending beef, any outstanding beef between Mane and Salah because of what happened at the AFCON, we know Mane got a, a beast penalty to win the, the AFCON for Senegal over Salah's Egypt. Sadio Mane! I'm the captain now. I'm the guy. King of Africa. You better remember it. We're still bros though, right? Okay? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get, 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 get the fuck out of here. And then again, again, the same thing happened for Senegal to go through to, to, to the World Cup over Salah's Egypt. There was no beef from that big situation there, from that big occasion. These guys came together and had a, had a good second half. The way Salah was playing on that right, cutting in and trying to get balls to Mane, maybe it wasn't as much as it, it, it could have been, but it's a big game. The, the assist for Mane's goal, and Mane, the king of Africa, the Afcon king, getting that nice finish, just shows where he is at. Other chances, it was just, so, I can't even really remember the, the, the chances. I remember Mahrez hitting the post from a free kick. I remember the, the disallowed goal from Sterling. It was all just offside. I couldn't even go to the toilet to take a piss. I was like, I'm going to miss something. That's when you know you're watching great football. But from the 45th minute to the 65th minute, I thought Liverpool had Man City's number. I, I remember... Man City have to, having to rely on a bit of counter-attack actually in the second half. Liverpool knew, knew that they had to, to, to keep going in the second half and I thought with bringing on Diaz they were going to really use his pace to, to wear down any of those tiring defenders. Unfortunately for them they didn't really get the ball to the left side it stayed more on the right side for Salah. That was a bit of, of a wasted chance there. Also with Man City trying to press the button to try and you know get their goal in the second half to try and win the game they brought on Grealish Grealish for me he's got to have a better next season because for, for you to be 100 million and you're not starting in this big game and you come on for eight minutes and you don't really do much it's kind of poor kind of poor o overall it was just the game was tic-tac it was gagan press all of these systematic things that we see this is the era of football now it's about your team play. Both teams knew what they were doing. We saw both philosophies going head to head and it was a deserved 2-2. People will say, okay, Man City maybe are the uh, overall better team, but Liverpool matched them. For me, they, they did match them. And yeah, yeah, it, it's Man City have got, have got it in their hands to lose in terms of the title. But they, they could they, they could they could drop points still. Liverpool got gotta keep going with what they're doing because both teams put in their stake for, 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 for trying to win the title. Both teams no one was scared. Both teams were trying to go for it for the complete 90 minutes. And I've just gotta say again, the fitness, the drills, the focus to play what the managers want was all shown in that game. It was a great game, a great advert for Premier League football. I, I was actually hoping for a third half. I was like, I'm ready, I'm ready for some more of that football because that was entertaining, man. But I'm not sure who's going to win the Prem now. Yes, Man City have the advantage with the, uh, with their point lead. It's going to be interesting. Another set, was it seven games left? I'm thinking Man City take it because they're a game ahead and they their their control of certain games with that tick attacker. I think they just will be too much for the rest of the teams in this running but anyway get in the comment section if you're watching the vid tell me what you think and yeah that's the end of my waffle hit the like and subscribe and peace <laughs>